Understanding the User Interface Welcome to this CBT of Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. This CBT is designed to lead you step-by-step step through all the tasks you are most likely to perform when using Microsoft PowerPoint 2007. Here in this lesson, you are going to learn the interface of PowerPoint 2007. There are a lot of interesting features available in PowerPoint 2007, and it is not a matter of whether you are an experienced user or a new learner of PowerPoint. You will enjoy it. This is the interface for PowerPoint 2007. Now I'm going to brief you step by step. Let's start from the top. This is the title bar. This displays the name of the active presentation. At the right end of the title bar are three familiar buttons that have the same function in all Windows programs. You can temporarily hide the PowerPoint window by clicking the Minimize button. Adjust the size of the window by clicking the Restore Down Maximize button. And close a presentation or quit PowerPoint by clicking the Close button. The commands can be represented as buttons on the Quick Access Toolbar to the right of the Microsoft Office button. By default, this toolbar displays the Save, Undo, and Repeat buttons, but you can customize the toolbar to include any command that you use frequently. We will discuss this in detail in upcoming lessons. Commands related to managing PowerPoint and PowerPoint presentations as a whole, rather than the presentation content, are gathered together on a menu that is displayed when you click the Microsoft Office button. I will explain about the Office button in the following chapter. The ribbon is placed below the title bar. It is a single container that holds several tabs for PowerPoint 2007, enabling you to work efficiently. It contains commands related to work with the presentations. Each tab consists of several groups. Inside the groups, there are many commands that perform a specific task. Related but less common tasks are not represented as buttons in the group. Instead, they are available in a dialog box, which you can display by clicking the dialog box launcher at the right end of the group's title bar. You carry out most of the development work on a presentation in normal view, which is the default. It consists of two panels. One is the overview panel that contains slide and outline tabs. The other panel is the slide panel, which shows the currently selected slide as it will appear in the presentation. This is our working environment. Across the bottom of the program window, the status bar gives you information about the current presentation. You can turn off the display of an item of information by right-clicking the status bar and then clicking the item you want to turn off. In the left side of the status bar, you see the slide number and theme name. And in the right corner, there are Views and Zoom tabs. And finally, if you look at the top right corner, you can see a Help button icon. It helps to provide more information about the particular command or tab, and so on.